Hi everyone and welcome to the session today. I'm going to be presenting a session around how we solve HR challenges using Microsoft technology. Thank you for being here and for sharing your time with myself. Um, it will be a short session of around 30 minutes and I will let you know how to connect if you want to. Uh, basically, I'm Ana Ines Urrutia de Sousa and I'm going to present myself in a second uh, so we can move forward. This is the agenda I have prepared for today. So I'm going to introduce myself, then I'm going to make a statement about how we together we stand. And this is, of course, focused on not only the technology, but also around our community. Um, then I'm going to sh share with you some highlights about what the community thinks about the question that brings us to this conversation about um, how many solutions do we have in the Microsoft environment to provide um, HR challenges a good way to go. Of course, we're going to talk a bit about the cloud and why that is important, and we're going to dive deeper into the solutions together. And I'm going to say thank you at the end, as usual. And you will have also some uh, forms to fill to make sure you um, give your feedback around these sessions and the others as well. So, hello, this is me. Um, I'm wearing a very shiny green dress with uh, polka dots, um, black polka dots. And I remember that day, it was very important because I had, uh, it was six months of the start of the pandemic and I was living in Peru by myself and I decided to celebrate it. So I wore that, that um, dress and decorated all the house. Uh, okay, so my name is Ana Inés Rudia de Sousa. I am uh, originally from Uruguay uh, Uruguay. Uh, most people used to confuse myself with Argentinians, but um, I'm not. Uh, anyway, I'm a Microsoft MVP for business applications. I've been an MVP since December 2020, and I am 2020, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. And I am very proud because I'm the only woman in my country with that recognition. And I am the second MVP in the world uh, for this specific technology that is Dynamic 365 Human Resources. Um, in my case, I am Dynamic 365 Human Resources Practice Lead in a company here in Spain called Accessor. And I've been working very hard to try to um, get this brand and the, I mean this this solution a very well known um, I don't know speech in the market so that's what I mainly what I do I'm a psychologist I worked in human resources for for my entire career until I've, uh, some years ago I'm not going to admit how long and um, I shifted it from human resources like standard tasks to uh, projects and implementation and I don't want to look back so I'm here to um, keep the projects going. Um, I'm your Ryan as I already told you and I am a future pilot. I will become a pilot someday uh, just for fun. I don't know and yeah I, I've been flying planes for a while and I really like it. It's something that I really enjoy and if you follow me on Twitter you will see some recordings and there below you can find my personal details so you can reach out to uh, my web where there's a lot of content around human resources and some other solutions like teams maybe something about Biba and there are some business um, I have also some business articles more based in the challenges that the technology um, you can follow me on Twitter or LinkedIn and I would be happy to uh, connect with you so feel free to reach out don't be shy if I have any answer for your question I will be happy to bring it and if I don't have it I will know where to find it all right so let's start together we stand this is something that I really like to say and it's something that it brings us not only from a technology point of view but also from a um, community point of view so I think that Teams Nation is a really good space to understand how together we stand in this solution in this in this community. So this event is a very big one. 
we bring along a lot of content from uh, to the table from several tracks from several streams from people for from all around the world in several languages and this is something that i'm really happy about because this reflects what community is all about and as you can see team station is a of course it 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 was born um for teams and solutions around that and i'm talking here about something that is not 100 percent related but as together we stand i'm going to show you how it's all involved and if we think about the business challenges of our customers of ourselves, uh, we can work together for something that is elevated. So this is the main thing that I wanted to introduce before we actually start talking. Thank you for listening to my hippie thoughts. OK, so um, when I started um, speaking about HR, Dynamic 365 HR, because that's my main product, I realized that there were a lot of things that um, could integrate or work closely with and i think that the community was not aware of that so what, what i'm seeing what i'm showing here in my screen there are two like questions or polls that i raised it in um one on linkedin and the other one in twitter i have much more followers on linkedin than twitter so you can see the difference and my question was how many microsoft solutions do you think exist to support today's human resources challenges and I think that most people in LinkedIn, they're more aware about the fact that we have much more than two, three or four. Uh, but in Twitter, I was surprised because a lot of people thought that we have only two uh, or maybe four, but not much more. And no one did reply with a, you know, I think that there are seven or eight. So I was a bit surprised when we come to this, when we came to this results and realized that there was a gap there or a space, an opportunity to bring along and to share um, what we can do or what we can uh, support with human resources. I'm sorry, with Microsoft technology. So for us or for, for, for myself as a consultant, as a practice lead, trying to understand the business problems of my customers and trying to bring to the table not only one solution but a complete set that can provide them a nice way to get away with the challenges that they are facing. That's what I am proud about. And that's what I think it brings a bit more value to the table than trying to force something, some technology to them. So instead of thinking on the I want to sell you this solution. Let's think of what's the challenge that the customer have and how we can solve it. OK, so after I did this, I realized that it was a great opportunity to write a blog and to create a session around this. And I did. And <clears throat> this is why you're here. So um, let's talk about the cloud, because this is a very important point. And despite this, um, I mean, we have we have some customers and we I think we all have faced this challenge, but that they have several apps from different providers and the integration and um, process to exchange data. It's really difficult because we don't have a standard or a simple cloud that can support that. So for us, if we think about in terms of Microsoft technology, we are able to work in a single cloud with all this um solutions exchanging information and also being uh secure and compliant to what our uh customer is requiring so it's not only easy to manage easy to to secure uh but also helps the customers be compliant and um of course it's all together and a very seamless experience for them so i think that is something worthy and yeah, I wanted to speak a bit about this. I'm not an expert in the cloud. I know that we need to understand uh, how this can make our customers life easier. So with all that said, let's dive into the solutions together. So there are seven solutions that I at least at least seven solutions that 
I listed here that I think it will make our life easier and our customers as well. So we're going to dive two by two, uh, but I'm going to stop precisely in Power Platform because it requires a bit more time. And we're going to talk a bit, a bit sorry, <laughs> we're going to talk a bit about um, what these solutions can do and why they're easy to work together. So, of course, we're going to start with my first love of my life, that is human resources, Dynamic 365 HR. This is a solution that um, if you don't know it, go to my blog and read something because there are a lot of content. So if you have any doubt, if you want to reach out, if you want to understand what it does, just feel free to reach out or go to the blog. I have also a video series, very tiny, very easy videos to understand what is the difference or um, what is happening between finance and human resources. All right, so HR, what is it? I'm sure you're already seeing this slide. I use it several times in several presentations, but I don't think there's, a, there's another one that it's um, as um, impactful as this one. So for us, human resources is a solution that delivers the full employee life cycle from the hiring to the retiring or hiring to firing. That depends on how nice you want to sound. And it helps us not only to manage the employee managers and nature pros information, but gives insights around what is currently going on with the company. So HR departments are used to have a lot of information, but they are not able to create insights or um, yeah, have a standard or organized solution that helps them um, to be better or more efficient. So in this case, Dynamic 365 Human Resources, it's another platform that is very, very good, that it, I think that it helps the business to stay uh, in business, like give fast solutions, fast answers, rapid response, and also democratize the access to the information because as employees and managers are able to access their own information without having to go through HR first. So I think that is a, it's something really interesting. And um, well, despite employees and managers handling information, human resources, of course, is able to handle the complete information for the, for the employees, um, such as compensation, employee management, um, development, and some other uh, interesting, uh, for example, leave and absence, and some other interesting topics around human resources management, standard human resources management. Okay, so then we have LinkedIn. Here is a very blurry image of LinkedIn. Uh, this is LinkedIn Talent Hub. This is a solution that it, of course, if you know, LinkedIn has been acquired by Microsoft. They still working as separate, separate companies. So there is not much communication between them, but we have an ADS that helps us to handle the entire um, recruitment process. And if you need some support on this, just let me know. There are some other solutions available in the market, and I'm really happy to talk to you one by one if you need to provide an ATS to a customer. Um, but LinkedIn is something that is out there and you need to know. There are some cost licenses associated to this uh, functionality that they're a bit, a bit overpriced, I think. But that depends on your customer budget and, of course, the return of investment. That is always important. OK, so let's get to the second pair of solutions. We have Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Viva. In this case, of course, we're here because we're in Teams Nation. So we know what Teams is and how we can use it. And here we have an amazing screenshot of a meeting and I think that Teams has enabled not only the communication through the companies but also the team building and um, yeah also the democratization I don't know if that's the word of the access to the information where we can all exchange around some topics and we can um, yeah work closely despite we're far away or remote or ale or whatever so microsoft teams is also a human resources technology or a platform because it helps us the human resources of the company to stay connected and to actually do our work so from that point of view it's not only a collaboration
education, but it's also a culture building uh, platform because it helps us to stay together and work closely. In related to Microsoft Teams, and of course uh, supported by it and powered by um, Microsoft 365, there's an amazing new platform that I know a lot of you may know that it's called Microsoft Viva. And in this case, you can see uh, another screenshot of the four apps that we have enabled for, for this um, product. So I think Microsoft Viva was born around the second the first year of the pandemic, I remember Satya given the announcement and we have some amazing things we can do here. And I think that there are much more like lots of things going on and happening and we are going to have some much more uh, apps soon. So we have Viva Connections to keep everyone connected and informed. This is very much like what it used to be Yammer, but now it's not. We need to like upgrade that experience. So we have a bit of connections that it's embedded uh, in Microsoft Teams that it's very nice to stay connected, but in a, a dynamic way, not work related, more like exchanging information or everyone, uh, I'm going to play football today. Do you want to come or something like that? In Viva Insights, we have uh, something that if you want to, you can already download to your uh, Microsoft Teams uh, application. That is the space, what it used to be Headspace. So you can um, add information to your um, day to day, uh, answering some questions like, how are you doing? Do you feel OK? Um, relax for a minute. You have some meditation guides that where you can uh, relax after meeting or before. And these insights, uh, you can use them as, as an employee and also your manager can see um, how are you doing, but not in terms of productivity, in terms of well-being. And I think that it's really important for us in this current world we're living in, where everyone is like overloaded and really stressed out and with a lot of um, yeah, responsibilities. So, of course, protecting the privacy of the employees, but giving the manager the insights to raise a hand and say, OK, my employees are burning out. So this is very important, I think. Then we have Viva Topics, and this is a very, I think that is a good, good, really good um, solution because it helps us to um, gather all the information around a topic and do some and have some order in it. So for example, if we have a project, if at some point um, your company delivered a project like three years ago, um, if you use Viva Topics, you're able to gather all that information, the statements of work, what you delivered, the fit gap, uh, the team, um, I don't know, if any FDD you've existed, SDDs as well. And in that case, um, all the people that comes and join and the project still going, they're able to see that topic and that information around the project without going mental. So it's basically something really good and it helps you as well to bring uh, to, to make that learning curve a little uh, more shorter. All right, and lastly, we have a learning, of course, this is simply an LMS that it brings along uh, courses from all over the world. We have from, I remember two, I, I remember LinkedIn and I remember um, Harvard Business University. Uh, these two, these two um, like course providers are already available in Viva Learning. And I think that we have much more, but I can't recall at the moment. So with all that said, let's move forward to our next slide. Our next slide is around um, Power Platform, and I know that you may know what it's all about. We have some amazing sessions today, and we are going, I, I mean, I, from the top of my head, I know we have Chris Huntingford presenting, uh, and it will be a very unique presentation. So, uh, and I'm not sure what is, he's going to point uh, on, but don't miss it. Um, this power platform, I think that it's also bringing us to the conversation of um, sharing or understanding the business need and then trying to develop something that is 
tailored to them. So as you know, um, Power Platform is a combination of several platforms and with all the power, of course. And we have some things that we can do. We have Power BI, you know, this is Power Business Intelligence where we can analyze information based on data. Uh, if we organize that data, we can create a story and we can create a, an analysis of our company. And that is very good. Then we have Power Apps, of course, these are low code power low code apps where we can solve simple scenarios to our customers and this could be on uh, web or um, mobile and we can yeah we can create something more um, I don't know more uh, adapted to our customers needs and I just realized that this is a Microsoft Lite that is not correct because power apps should be where it's power automate and the other way around Okay, um, then we have Power Automate. Uh, if you don't know that, there are still good people out there, great people doing content about it. Um, so Power Automate helps us to automate processes. And in this case, this is very useful for human resources because they are able to, for example, um, automatize a, an email every month or every two weeks or something like that. And this is, something that leave, I mean, that release a lot of pressure from their shoulder, from each other's shoulders, because they are able to, um, yeah, to be more productive, more efficient, instead of wasting 24 hours, or not 24, but four hours sending emails, they are able to um, just, you know, run it automatically. So that is, that is very good. And lastly, we have our Power Bureau, Power Bureau, Bureau agents, Power Bureau, okay, Power Virtual Agents. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I remember the first time I got engaged with this and PVA, uh, it was, I was trying to build one, Mark Christie helped me, mine, of course, he helped me as well, she helped me as well. And um, Alex Rostan, someone from Uruguay also, and now living in Paraguay, he helped me to understand what it, what, what this was all about. And of course, this is a like a bot that you can create with uh, questions and answers, where you can provide the system the answers, and your your employees are going to be able to log into the system or uh, sorry, log questions. And instead of waiting for you to answer, they have they have a bot that is really easy. So imagine how easy it could be for HR to manage some standard questions that they receive 20 receive 25 times a day. So just picture it. And lastly, other solutions that are Dynamics 365 as well. We have customer voice and we have guides. These are also a bit blurry, but let me share with you what is customer voice. So this re Dynamics 365 customer voice is a solution that helps you gather information around what is currently going on. So it's it's commonly you can use it for your customers, but as human resources and employees are also customers like internal ones, you can understand what's currently going on is what was forms pro uh, called i mean the customer voice was before if i if i'm not wrong was before called um yeah forms pro and now we have the solutions that helps us gather information around the a topic topic so you can ask questions to your um workforce around what that i don't know uh, if they want to organize a meeting, if they want to organize to get away or something like that. And you can gather all that information and the availability, for example, here in a uh, customer voice. OK, and then we have the uh, Dynamic 365 Guides. This is a very, I don't think I ever implemented it, but I know that it's existing and I know that it requires a bit more of investment uh, regarding the um, the customer because it requires HoloLens and uh, I think that implementation could be a bit more complex. But guides, what helps you is to, for example, and I think that in the, some industries is really interesting because it helps the onboarding to be a bit more easy. So instead of people practicing with real machines in real time and with the risk that that has, we can um, give them 
this mixed reality where they can try to perform the activities that they they have to perform in their daily uh, basis, but uh, not facing the risk of doing it wrong because it's the first time they are doing it in a in a yeah industry. So that's it, and that's basically what these two solutions do and how you can use them for HR. It's very simple and very easy. Okay, so uh, I want to say thank you uh, for all this time together. I'm sorry that I couldn't make it live. I'm having a customer training at this very same time. So I'm in two places at the same time today, and I'm very happy I was able to deliver the session uh, today because I was a bit worried of not being able to, to share this this amazing content with you. So um, in the meantime, if you want to reach out, you I already said like 20 times, but feel free to do it. You have my contact information over there. Um, you can write me, uh, check my blog, uh, connect in LinkedIn and speak. I'm really happy and really open about the content around HR. And if you want to have a call and understand what is going on, or for example, if you want to have a call because you want to start consulting for uh, Dynamic 365 HR and you want to understand a bit more um, what it does, I'm happy to bring you on board and help you and give you the uh, steps that you require to, to be a great consultant. So these are my, yeah, my contact information, and I don't want to leave without saying rate my session and calls to action. So um, you can give feedback here and this is going to be very good for me if you can provide feedback and be honest about it because this helps me of course to be a better presenter and try to improve my skills and my content as well. Uh, there are some other sessions that you could attend and we, of course we have a keynote and yeah, in this Power Platform track, I think there are good, really good sessions, but don't miss the opportunity to share and to learn from other tracks that are not the ones that you're uh, used to. Go out outside of your comfort zone. That's always good. And lastly, show your love using social um using using the tag of tag, sorry tag of Teams Nation and of course tagging Teams Nation account and yeah show your support and your love to to this amazing amazing um summit conference I don't know how to call it but this to this amazing uh space that the community has bring to has brought to us uh free of charge and completely completely from the uh from heart so um, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you a lot to the organizers. It's been I, I couldn't I, well, I can uh, because I do imagine how difficult it is to put together something like this. So thank you very much for everyone. You're doing awesome organizing team. Thank you and see you around. If you have any question, you know where to find me. Bye bye.